The twelfth topic is to convert equations to rectangular form, and then they have also asked to graph it. Now it is about equations, but still the coordinate formulas are very handy. This polar uh, conversion to rectangular to polar coordinates. The formula which was r equals square root x square plus y square, or you can consider r square equals x square plus y square. This is important and crucial. And then over here, theta equals tan inverse y by x. So, okay, this is uh, interesting. I'll come to it in a while. Or it'll be either tan theta equals y by x. So these are the basic formulas. Now, whenever x is greater than 0, this is for coordinates only when the radius and the theta is given. If it is greater than 0, it's only this much. If its x value is negative, then we add pi. But now we can ignore that for a while. Oh, yeah, these are the formulas. Now, if at all you have sine or say you have um, cot, then it is 1 by tan. So 1 by tan theta, that would be x by y. Or if you have secant, it's 1 by cos, and then you can easily try and solve it. Now, let's go through a few of the basic problems. Generally, these type will be given where angle is theta. So now, how would you solve it? So you can take, uh, you, need, you know the formula that is tan theta is y by x. So what you need to do is take tan on both these sides and you will get an equation of tan theta equals tan pi by 6. Now you can solve this. You know left side is x by y by x, sorry it is y by x. Always uh, sine by cos and sine is y, cos is x. That's y, okay. So over here, y is basically sine, x is cos. And over here, tan theta is y by x. What is tan pi by 6? You can do tan pi by 6. But now, remember, if it's in degree mode, you will get in terms of degree. If this is, uh, I mean, sorry, if it's uh, in degree mode and you put pi, you won't get the correct answer, basically. You need to change it to radians. Now, you will get this as a proper one. It's a radian. Uh, you need to change the mode to radian when you're solving such problem. You will get y by x is equal to root 3 by 3. You, you know that rectangular equations are always written as y equals some coefficient x. So just take the x to the other side, you will get root 3 by 3. So this is how we solve it. Now graphing is simple. You can graph this by table or many methods. But the easiest of all is just look at this. Theta is equal to pi by 6, right? So... Since there is no radius given, you have to just draw a straight line from positive and the negative side at pi by 6. That's it. So if it's a graph, you can easily eliminate the other graphs and easily get the correct answer. Let's look at the other type where only radius is given. Now this is again so easy. R is 7. Just draw a circle of 7 centimeters, 7 uh, radius. That's it. Now anyways, technically to solve it is to use the formula. Now, since r is known, you can you know the formula, the closest to uh, r is r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. Now, what do you do? Square on both, you basically square on both the sides of this equation. Here you'll get r squared is equal to 7 squared. r squared is x squared plus y squared. Don't take x to the other side. Just look at the equation now. We had learned in the last term, uh, the conic section was the chapter name. We had learned the circles, equations of circles and graphing circles. And that is it. So x squared plus y squared is an equation for the circle with the radius root of 49, that is 7. So this is a circle equation. Draw a circle of radius 7. That's it. Or r is 7, so draw a circle at 7. So if the graphs are there, it's very easy. Otherwise, you just substitute and convert. Similarly, you can solve this. Now... If you had watched the last video, the topic number 11, if you not watched it, I would highly recommend you to pause the video, go back and watch it. You, you might have recalled over there, if you see certain equations such as r equals a sine theta, it's a circle graph in the vertical axis upside because this is positive. That's it. Otherwise, you can just convert this to x squared y squared and then you can solve it. So, we just now, whatever we did it over here, same way you can just simplify this because R is the or instead of all that, remember this equation and simplify it. 
it's very very easy and uh, now there is one thing over here if it's theta equals minus pi by 3 we, we did it take tan on both the sides and solve it tan is y by x and then simplify r is 10 it's very simple they are all direct ones you know even over here it's the same thing now you must remember if it's tan cosecant secant they're all straight lines either you can apply over here tan theta is what y by x take x to the other side and then graph this y by x is a linear equation it will be a straight line whereas over here where it's cosecant you know what's cosecant one by sine sine is just y isn't it so basically you solve it y is equal to so much now there is one more way if it's tan over here you can just take tan inverse 4 now here if you press if you keep it in radian this is in terms of radian instead of that make it in degree so it's much easier for us to understand it's 75.96 can you see this from 0 this is 60 it's just in the middle yes it's about 75 76 degrees so this is one more way to easily find it out so it's up to you there are various ways otherwise you can just plug in some values now plug in some theta values over here and you will get the radius the exact same radius now if you put zero over here in uh, you can change this to one by sine and solve it you will get these values so there are various methods various tricks you know from uh, if you watch the videos in continuity you will realize there are so many methods to directly find the correct graphs you can use any of it otherwise you can just see the you know straightforward solving method using formulas that is also possible anyhow you will get the same answer please make sure you solve them by yourselves and then check the answers so these are the answers